Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> we should make a remix. I think that sounds cool, but... I'm just happy to see her sticking around here at High Fight. Happy to see them making moves to keep her around. You're my Thai crush. Yeah, I'm just, I've just been a big fan, even before Thai Fight, but more now than ever. And we talked about it before, Aaron, about, you know, the King's Cup is a Thai Fight tradition. But they've never had a Queen's Cup. They pretty much just invented it for Pet <laughs> Chicha. And I think that's great because she is fighting, she is Muay Thai royalty, and royalty deserves their crown. And you can see in the white corner, 28-year-old Cindy Sylvester, the French, the French cyborg, 28-year-old fighter from France, 158 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 51 kilograms. She has a professional record of 94 fights, 61 wins, 32 losses, and one draw. She is a decorated international Muay Thai fighter. Also, world Muay Thai organization champion at 54 and 57 kilograms. So, accomplished outside of the Thai fight ring, but she's up against the killer tonight. And there is that killer. Petija, look gal parong tom. Sing it. 20 years of age now, 160 centimeters tall. As Adam stated, this tournament is at 51 kilograms. 207 fights with 190 victories. 15 losses and two draws. The winner of this fight will go on to face Daniela Lopez, who defeated Rungnapa for Moonpech. The first fight this evening here at Thai Fight that was online on YouTube. Congratulations to Daniela Lopez. I'm sure she'll be watching on to see who her opponent will be. Could be a Thai, or it could be the French. So let's go. JF Stadium is the venue for the semi-finals of the King's Cup, and of course, now the Queen's Cup tournament's here tonight. Love it. No audience in attendance due to COVID rules. All fighters did take a COVID test yesterday, and of course, all passed. Here we are. Yeah, First high fight event in three months. No question about the safety here. I mean, I'm vaccinated, and I'm wearing a mask and a face shield. So sitting in front of a table filled with sanitizer. <laughs> Feeling safe, safe as it could possibly be. <laughs> well, it's just nice to see Thai fight. And of course, Muay Thai. Still not able to have shows in Bangkok, so promoters are now moving around the country of Thailand to see where they can uh, have shows put on fights. It's been a struggle for sure, really but has. here we are, Thai fight strong. Petit Jar in the black corner, Sylvester from France in the white corner. I feel like a broken record saying this. I say it every time Petit Jar comes out, but if you don't know this girl, if you're not familiar with her, go to YouTube, look her up. She's got a fascinating story. She was fighting boys when she was like seven years old. I think it's actually a documentary called The Girl Who Fights Boys. I think you're right, yeah. When she was about 10 year old. Yeah, she was amazing, and she's been amazing for a long time. She's one of the oldest 20 year olds. So that's, we're gonna see. But that's one of the issues, isn't it, for female fighters? There's nowhere really to go. Thai fighters now grab, grab the hold of Tech G and say, listen, you can be our star, you can be the girl here on Thai Fight. And I've got to be honest, it's worked really, it's been really amazing. Well. It's been amazing. I'm a huge fan, as you know. And now <laughs> that they're letting females fight at Lumpini, which I think is a fantastic idea. Yeah, it's great, man. It's really Let's great. Let's have a Thai fight at Lumpini and have Tech G main event, man. How about that? I love it. <laughs> You can see Petit Jack grinding yeah, Sylvester mean. against the ropes. Oh, Petit Jack in the summit first round. Sylvester already covering shot. up. Backing off. Right hand as well. What Sylvester really has to worry about is when Petit Jack starts throwing those elbows. We have seen her slice and dice her competitors like tomatoes at times. I believe Petit Jack is actually either had trials or actually fought on the Thailand team for boxing. So her hands really good are amazing as well as of course her base which is Muay Thai. Another dimension and one of the reasons why we love it here. Jab, oh Pet Jar, Sylvester moving back. Doesn't know what to do right now. Yeah, if I move. Nice 
there, that left hook and another right hand there from Pechi Jar. Relentless Pechi Jar. Oh, beautiful elbow trying to sneak it through the guard of Sylvester. End of round one. A pretty straightforward first round there for Pechi Jar. Just moving forward, relentless pressure, lots of output. Quite connect with those elbows she's known for. But her boxing was crisp. Look at those. There's the elbow trying to get in there. A nice high guard from Sylvester. Protected herself from most of those blows. Again, you can see thwarted elbow strike. She will continue to apply pressure and continue to throw those elbows until one sneaks through. Keep an eye also on her beautiful boxing combination. As Aaron said, she's a tremendous boxer. She really likes to lead with that hook to the body, almost Mike Tyson style. You don't usually see a lot of Thai fighters target body with body You usually just use the kicks. So when you do see it, it's a beautiful thing. Petri Chart's one of the best of it. She's the best. She is the best, I think, for, for women in Muay Thai. For working the body, her boxing technique. With the kicks to the body there, protection guard and off balance is Sylvester. First kick. Petri Jar working hard in the corner. Trying to find that opening. Sneaks a left hand through and then a right over the top. Knee to the body and that's hurt Sylvester. Pretty quick count from the ref there, but. Yeah, from the free throw ref. So that's, I think Petri Jar is going to target that body even more now. Well, why not? Good knees there. You can see. He's got a great range of the game out of. See the weakness of Sylvester now is in the midsection. He's just targeting it. Look at oh, that for a combination. Goodness me. Oh. That was a beautiful combination there in the corner from Pechi the Chow. It was a left hook already. that started it. I think the referee's called it. Just too one sided. Yeah, the, 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 the doctor's in already. Unbelievable. And Violent, I'm not even sure vicious, Pechi Chow broke precise. a sweat. Let's see that combination again that finished this fight. It was really beautifully done. Left hook that started the damage, and then a right hook to the body that really finished her off. That'll be popping up here in a second. Yes, yeah, so let's take a look again. Here's the left hook. Starts it. Maybe not. Okay. Let's try again. There's the left hook that starts it. And there's going to be a right hook to the body. There's the left knee. knee. The body. The drop the... That was the first sort of knockdown. Here we go. There's the left hook and the right hook that follows to the body. That really hurts her. Let's see it right here. Boom. And that just took her breath away and down she went. And an elbow for good luck. Bonus. <laughs> that you got. One of a kind. ผุดๆเดือนไปละแหมบอกคุณอยากเจอเพชรจิตได้เหรออ่ะนั่นแหละบอกตัวที่ไหนเฮ้ยไม่ต้องเกรงกันวันนี้นะครับผมและตอนน